first down, because that's the time you know they're selling out, right? Second down, it's like, okay, they're three quarters of it. But, uh, hey, you only get a field goal here. And like I say, they've got a chance to use another timeout, and you've got Tucker on the other side. And you know this. They keep coming back this year, Baltimore, right? You know they can do it. They've Regardless done it five of times. how the games go, they just keep finding a way at the end. You've got to score a touchdown here, go for two. I think Pittsburgh, I'd be aggressive, and I would throw the ball if they had leave you one-on-one -on -one outside here. That's Claypool. And throw it right away. Here's a third and goal. Roethlisberger waits, now throws, and he's across for the touchdown. Deontay Johnson. This was an unbelievable route by Deontay Johnson. I mean, he's so wide open, Jim. Watch this route. It's a slant. It's a slant. No, nope. puts his foot in the ground, and Humphrey had to go over the top. The Fryer move. It's a natural pick, but look at that play. What a design play. Yeah, I'd do that too, actually. Go to the guy who's uncoverable, Ben said. Right. And two touchdowns for Johnson in the fourth quarter, and of course they will go for the two. So Johnson from 29, and then that one a moment ago from five yards out. Timeout call by the Steelers before this two-point attempt. How about Deontay Johnson? You're not kidding. Big time. Ben. He's turned into one of the best in the league. By the way, this is one of Ben's better games. I mean, he's, he's had plenty, right? But this is a really solid game against a really formidable opponent. We know number one in third down. Number one in the red zone defense, right? That's right. That was the first time, by the way, in this game that Pittsburgh was inside the 20. It was our first red zone trip. Wow. Because the touchdown to Johnson came from outside, came from 29 yards out. But the point is, it is one of Ben's finest hours of this season. Exactly. He needed it today, too. We talked about it. Can he do it? Got to stand in there, take hits. And now the play, really, this is huge. To go up seven. If they convert. Ben, open man. And it's caught. Fryer move. The recipient of the two-point pass. And the Steelers have put up now... 17 fourth quarter points. Ben Roethlisberger with an incredible finish to this game. Watch this throw. This was not as easy as it looked. He had to actually throw over. Go ahead and play that. Now pause it right now. He has to throw over Patrick Queen right there and get it down before 22 can get out there, Smith. It looked easy. It was not timing of it was exact that's why it could be the behind show back shoulder wow well you look at some of the skill positions in pittsburgh they've got the tight end position locked up for years they've got a star number one receiver in deontay johnson and we know claypool hasn't shown the talent this year that we saw last year and you got a running back in harris and you got ben trying to show everybody he's still got a whole lot left and he has today shown us just that the biggest thing is they need to get this offensive line you know you're going to allocate your resources into this going forward, right? This organization knows that. they got to get back that they've been so solid for so long. And that offensive line, you just said, these other guys, wow, watch out. I mean, but these guys are young. It's a long season right now. It's hard on them week to week. Here's the kick and takes an awkward bounce. And that is damaging to the Steelers' cause. It goes out of bounds. That is so huge. And they'll be able to bring the Free football up to the 40. Ball be placed at the 40 yard line. First down. So, forget about having to go 75 yards. Only got to go 60. Tonight on CBS begins with 60 minutes and the whistleblower named Reality Winner and her first TV interview followed by the National Christmas Tree Lighting and the 23rd Annual A Home for the Holidays at the Grove plus NCIS Los Angeles. That's tonight on CBS. So, the drive begins at the 40 with 1.48 to play. Dump it underneath. Schobert is on Freeman in a hurry. Ravens still do have, remember, one timeout in their pocket. A lot of time, but you're going quick. I mean, this is one of those where you're not worried about getting out of bounds or anything now. You're just snapping the ball quick, get the ball out of your hands. Man-to-man -man coverage. Here's Jackson stepping up and slinging his sidearm. <laughs> we got a flag and whistles. Movement on the offense, probably. I mean, what else are they going to call right here? Timeout.
I mean, it looks like it's just going to be a receiver moving, right? False start on 12. False start, offense, number 12. It's a five-yard penalty, second down. That's Rashad By Bateman. rule, the false start under two minutes. We run 10 seconds off the game clock. Need to set the game clock to one minute, 22 seconds. And that's eight pre-snap penalties in the 10 seconds. Obviously, that's significant. They could have used the timeout, but I like this. Don't waste it right there. It's a 10 seconds, I understand, but that timeout's going to be more key going on. you got to get rid of this ball when they keep coming after you here, Lamar. Second and 10. They're on him, and the ball comes out. It's running to the sideline. It'll be Baltimore retaining possession, stripped away by T.J. Watt, but the flags will check those. This usually is going to go against the offense for a hold late, and it's usually going to be on whoever's blocking T.J. Watt, Jim. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's the right tackle. Holding. Offense. Number 78. Penalties declined. Third down. Decline. Moving along. They called on a bill in the waiver, but point is, they are getting after Lamar Jackson as they have all day long with six sacks. He's got to get the ball out. We keep saying it. When they're coming after you, teams are doing this. I know he can create and do that, but people are open. The city of Pittsburgh stirred to a frenzy. Their Steelers fighting for their season. You can tell your quarterback, Lamar, you don't have to get 14 yards here. You got two downs. Be patient here, but take what they give you. If they pressure, get it out. Otherwise, create. On third and 14. He's got time here, and he's got an open target. It's Brown. As they try to strip it from him, Millette and Fitzpatrick unable to do so. And the ball spotted at the 42. Gain of 22 and a first down. Big time play and throw. Have a guy run through. Get rid of it. You can come back and do the same thing. That I'm starting to look for Andrews now. Just Duvernay. Duvernay. Someone salts down at the 23. And they continue to preserve that timeout. Nope, now they take it. Ooh. John Harbaugh runs onto the field to take it. Ooh. With 18 yards picked up on that play. You definitely use it when you have these timeouts. You see 13 in the middle of the slot. Good move. And that's Lamar's eyes. The reason why 35 all of a sudden all that moved the other way was because he got looked off by Lamar. That's a gift of his. He can use that big time drive. I can't believe we doubted he would get him in this position. Well, well think about it. Just two, two plays ago, they were facing third and 14. Mm. And now all of a sudden, two plays later, they pick up 40 yards and they're at the 24. No pressure on the last two. I think that's about to change. Exactly. Keith Butler's defense may bring it. Let's see. That guy's going to go wherever Lamar goes. Here comes it. Norwood in on him. That's Watkins slipping past Fitzpatrick. And he's down to the 10. Remember, the clock cannot be stopped. This is huge right here. All of a sudden, he actually beat the coverage all out pressure. That was big. You got to get this ball snapped. It's not even important. Just get lined up and snap it. Throw a fade over his head. You could have already clocked it. But now you got to run a play. Get set. Here we go with 22 seconds. Jackson's pass. Intended for Andrews and the clock now at 20 seconds 10 yards out Lamar Jackson's gonna want this back. He should have won the game right here Everyone comes he should throw this ball right here to Mark Andrews throw it Just too late just too late and Mark should have slowed up a little bit too to help the window, right? But that combination if they don't win. Oh, that was the play Ball actually at the 11 you're trying to get the ball into the end zone or out of bounds, Jim. You can still get and clock the ball if you throw it underneath your back. Out of the gun. Here's the pass. And out of bounds with the catch is Watkins at the six-yard line. That took four seconds. Gain yep. of five. That was a great throw. It's not as easy as it looked right there. A simple out, but you know the defense is getting a little prepared for it. They can get jumpy. Now... It gets really close to you to check the ball down. I wouldn't. At this point, it's into the end zone or out of bounds, Jim. You've got two plays, quarterback. Five times this season, the Ravens have come from behind in the fourth quarter. Now with 16 seconds to go against their biggest rival. Down seven. 
Here it goes, Jim. Lamar Jackson, you got people over the middle of the field. Take your time and throw it to him. He's got protection. Got all kinds of time. He throws, and Watkins has it for the touchdown. He recognized the defense. He was patient, took his time, and threw it right over the middle of the field. That's where the weakness is there. And this was a big-time throw by Lamar Jackson. And I wish they would go for two. I want to see this game end right here, one way or another. I want one team. Uh, but they're going to kick it, obviously. But I wish that they would go for two. That would make it fun. No. They are going to go for two. Yes. You oh, wanted it, Tony. This is it. You got it. How about this? Oh my goodness. John Harbaugh has the guts, I tell you. That is something else. He's a real gambler. I love it. You saw the signal by Tomlin. He says, hold on a minute. I got to make sure my defense is ready for this. Take a look. Who was in? They had Ricard coming in at fullback. They had Duvernay and Watkins. Let me see what kind of neat trickery. Now the kicker's out on the field. Hey, yeah, just out there eyeballing it. And uh, just in case they call on it, going through the visionary game. But here comes Mark Andrews. That's the guy to watch. Oh, what a gutsy call. I love it. What I a just gutsy think call. I think most people go, these two coaches, this is why they've been here so long. 30th time. This is the rivalry, Ben Roethlisberger. I think your season's on the line right here, Pittsburgh fans. Here we go. 30th time between Tomlin and Harbaugh. What a decision this is. The game hinges on one play. Jackson flings it. Andrews can't get to it. Could not reel it in. Incomplete. Unbelievable. It was a great play call. He Andrews is open. Lamar, though, has the great T.J. Watt in his face. It's not an easy throw. The ball just... Has to be flicked with a little bit of height. Oh, and it's one inch from Baltimore going to nine and three, but instead, the Steelers are alive. He was right there. It was there for the taking. So much hinging on a matter of a pass being just a bit too far wide. And the crazy thing is, even if it was one more inch, right, he could have tipped it to himself even. Which he's done. We yes. showed it earlier. He's done it so many times before. You got the onside kick coming up. It's not call it final here by any means because one recovery and one kicker named Justin Tucker. Andrews knows. Oh, my goodness. How close can you get? Okay, here's a question then. It's a good point. If they get this onside... Can Justin Tucker, who has as big a leg as anyone, can he kick it from wherever they get it? No, they'll have to go into formation. They have to back him up. And well, I'm saying if they got this at the uh, 50, free kick. No, I'm saying if they got it at yes, the Yes, he's already made 66-yarder to beat Detroit this year. But from today on this field in this it, condition? It is, it, I don't know. 10 yards, you're talking 55, you're talking 73 yards. Here's the kick, and it's recovered. It's recovered by Norwood. The Steelers are going to get the victory. What a win, and by the way, just subtly on the other side, that was an unbelievable kick. He just said it. Yeah, just just kicked it. Tucker just kicked it with his left foot. Backwards. Oh, my goodness. This drops Baltimore back into the three spot at the moment. New England assumes the top seed with its game tomorrow at Buffalo. There you see the Steelers very much alive at 6-5-1. and one, A half game behind the final playoff. Watch this kick. That's the old Tony Fritch <laughs> kick of long ago with the Dallas Cowboys that worked in a playoff game at San Francisco. The Austrian kicker. And there's a kneel down and a victory for Ben Roethlisberger. What a warrior he is. Second guest by even former teammates on a lot of hot takes.